welcome back or welcome if this is your first time here. Don't forget to subscribe if you like content like this in the future. My name is Bobby. I love skincare, beauty, saving money, getting bougie products on a budget. I, just, I love makeup and beauty and skincare. The other things, but mainly just stay to makeup unboxings, collaborations. I love to chat with you guys and get to know you. So today, just to let you know in advance, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna be going ahead and doing my skincare regimen with you guys today and show you what products I have finished and I will be showing you what products I am adding. Now I do have some brow powder in and I have washed my face and I am ready for the next step, which for me, I am going to tone my face because I have acne. Now everyone can do their um, skincare the way they want. I'm just doing mine this way. So I just take some toner and put it all over my hands, no pat, because I want all of this to go into the pores. And I drag it down my chin and then up to my hairline. Okay, and to, I'm almost finished, woo -hoo. and I'm almost finished using this uh, clarifying lotion number two by Clinique. I like this, it gives your face kind of like a tingle. I love to put some kind of gloss on my lips. Um, I also like to put a little nourishing lip balm on my lips to treat my lips as I treat my face. I'm using Fresh <laughs> Caramel Lip Balm. I'll kind of just list everything below if you want to know what I'm using, but it's basically I'm just showing you the steps and the products are just your opinion or my opinion on what we like. So the first thing after I go ahead and tone, I take my my cellar water. I'm using Hyaluron Skin Essence, my hand skin. This one comes with a pink top. And I just, I don't know, like a bunch. I tone first and then I put this on. The next step I do is a niacinamide complex. I had one with the Glossier set. Um, but I don't know where it is. I'm already done with it and I think I tossed the bottle because um, I finished it first like a week ago. And so I've been trying this Glow Recipe one that we got in a boxy charm. And I just kind of start on my cheeks, bottom half of my face where I have pore problems the most, and then I go up here. All my brow powder is gone. Oh, that was a bad idea. I'm reaching down into my ears. And I also put stuff on the back of my neck, guys. Don't forget about the back of your neck. She's important, too. And so the next item I put on is the vitamin C. The one I was using from Glossier is Super Glow Vitamin C Magnesium Serum. But this guy's out. So my next option here is a vitamin C brightening booster. Um... Yep, okay, same kind of thing from 111 Skin. Got this in Ipsy. We're gonna go ahead and use this to replace my Glossier since I'm on a no buy. And I didn't think about that before I started. I don't know how much of this one to use, so I'm using three drops because my hands eat a lot. Or else I do two, but I also put it on my neck, so. But I'm very used to vitamin C serums. Don't forget about your neck, guys. The neck, I know, I have so many steps. So that was step two. Now, at this point, I like to add my caffeine serum for under my eyes. This is Better Skin Eye Brightening. We just got this a month or so ago. But there's also one that has caffeine in it from The Ordinary. It's a little bit thicker. Uh, and it. I think it gives kind of like a tingle plumping feeling. But that one's really good, too. 
whatever I do to my under eyes, I also do to my marionette line. So I just kind of, so then I just really tap that in. Now at night, at night I like to use this Murad Renewing Night Cream because it comes in a nifty little pump and one pump is really thick for both eyes. But I just got this Marine Care Eye Cream in Ipsy. I want to go ahead and give it a go. Plus, I like to have two eye creams open, one that stays in my bathroom sink and one that stays here. So I'm just going to take about that much, and we are going to see. It's a little bit thick, but let's see what it does. Oh, I'm going to need more. This is not... Okay, we're going to use some of my Marad because, yeah, that other stuff is very thick. This is very creamy. And like I said, whatever I do, <laughs> I also share. And remember guys, these are the fingers you're supposed to use that like make your, um, I like to press here to drain my, um, it's like a face massage to drain your glands, I guess. I just think it also feels good. You'll know if you're hitting the right spot. It's like just before your pimple. You'll feel it. And it's very relaxing. It's supposed to help tighten the face, too, so. I'll probably fast forward through a lot of this part. But I do this every morning, y'all. Maybe not as much, but you're supposed to do this like 10 or 20 times. And then you can hold right here. You pull down to drain everything. And then I'd like to, I'll do the rest when we get there with oil. That's just for the eyes. Okay, so then after that, I like to go in with my Plum Plump Hydrating Serum. Also from Glow Recipe, just one pump. Okay, this doesn't make me break out, and I think it's helping my skin. I know it seems like a lot. My oil for my face and neck, which is this Summer Fridays Heavenly 16 All-in-One Face Oil. I use two drops on my face, put it on my fingertips, and I just put it all over. Hey y'all, sorry to interrupt the video and the flow and everything, but I just wanted to say if you don't want to, if you want to skip the portion of the video with the face massage, it is coming up right now, so go ahead and skip to this timestamp, and you can pass all that. Thanks again, see you in the video. And then this is when I go like this, guys. I think it feels so good and relaxing. And you don't even need a tool.
Okay. And that's just what I do every day. And it feels good to massage your face, you guys. So don't be afraid to massage your face. So because I did the hyaluronic acid, usually I put a little bit of water on my face. We don't have water, so I'm gonna use my Tower 28 Bare Face Setting Spray. Well, you can use it whenever, but it's supposed to really help on a bare face. And this is to help the hyaluronic acid. And then I'm going to add polyglutamate acid. Mine just ran out. So I'm opening a new one, see? And so, whoop, and it works right away. My other one was a lot thicker. I don't need all of that. <laughs> Maybe it was bad. Yeah. Weird. I found this from Genie, um, Unfiltered 50s. I have not seen her in a minute, but I loved her skincare reviews. They were so good. Okay, and then I usually just finish off with, um, I'm feeling pretty plump, so I don't need to add any moisturizer. At night, I like to use my Kate Spade Vitamin C Moisturizer, but today I'm going to use my Wishful Honey Balm Jelly Moisturizer. This is a great under makeup moisturizer because it does have a couple little silicones in it, so it's not something you want to wear uh, all night covering your pores but you know I just take a bit because I'm going to put this on my neck too I took quite a bit too much mm, so nice and it would be a perfect at night moisturizer because it has a lavender scent in it. <laughs> I keep catching that earring. And that's it. And then I'd put my sunscreen on. Um, probably a sunscreen without a moisturizer. Feels so good and plump. I mean, I'm getting older. I'm going to have those lines, but I mean... And I think the whole thing helped my under chin here. Well, it was a lot of steps. I'll put right here how many steps it is because honestly, I don't remember. But what do you guys think? Um, let me know what your routines are, what your morning skincare routine is, and maybe if it's good, I would like to try it out. You never know. These are just the products that I've tried over the last few couple years, I think, like one or two years. And that I found that really work for me. And this is a very um, dry, like my face is dry right now. That's why I used all the extra moisture. But usually if my face is this dry, I might skip this 17 um, or 16 oil blend. And I might go half a pump on the hyaluronic acid because it really does bring moisture to the skin. So make sure you use water to like um, even that out. And I might go ahead and use this um, Good Molecules Oil Blend for oily skin. This is amazing. On those skin days where I need two drops of oil just to get a nice um, oil on my complexion. And, you know, boom, good to go. So, yes. And what I like to do also is you take two Q-tips or whatever you have. Oh. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I had to find my Q-tip in my cellar water. I put some in the cap here. It can be any kind of my cellar water, water, whatever. But my cellar water is better. Dry Q-tip. And I just clean off on the area where I'm going to do my brows because um, your skincare can make your 
brow products bleed, I've learned. And since I raised my brow up a little bit, we're going to go ahead and wipe off a little bit of that skin care there. And I'm just using a second Q-tip to kind of dry it. There we go. And I can already feel the difference. And I mean, that does kind of suck that, you know, but whatever. Your brows got the hydration and the skincare benefits for a moment. And you make sure you do on the front of your brow. And if you're going to feather them. And boom. This should help my eyebrows go on better. So I'm not doing anything right now that's going to do anything specifically. Anyways, I was going to put my brow powder back in, but I cannot find it. So that was my skincare, um, my skincare morning routine. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like videos like this or you want to see content like this in the future, go ahead and give this a thumbs up and a like and subscribe so YouTube knows you want to see more content of mine in the future. I love y'all. Have a wonderful day.